All right, I've got Jeff Brule with me today, and on the menu are Ned Briggs. Now we're fishing an area today where Jeff had great success. How many days ago, Jeff? Uh, probably about four days. Three or four days ago. And this is what he caught his fish on, these little Ned Rigs. It's late winter here in South Louisiana, and all the bait is really small, so you definitely want to downsize this time of year. Water temp right now is 51.2 degrees. That's chilly for us. As you can see, that tide is out. Lots of exposed bank here, but the tide is still falling. Got another three hours or so in this falling tide, hopefully. There he is. Oh, there you go. oh he hit me again. We'll see if I can resist the urge to set the hook. Got one? Jeff got him one. Get him, Jeff. That looks like a better fish. Oh. Ooh, ooh. There he is. Oh, Jeff, did you see that fish? That was a good one. I didn't set the hook. That's the thing with this Ned Rig fishing. You don't want to set the hook. That was a good bass. Hate to miss him. Well, Jeff, we're not executing well. Nope. I like when you just lift up and you feel the pressure when you see the line. Running, yeah. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> There he is. Dad gummit. Dad gummit. A little bit of learning curve on this technique. No doubt. I'm over. I know what you're supposed to do is just reel, 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 reel to the feet. And then pull. And that hit him. That's a keeper. That's a eater. There you go, Jeff. Yeah, see how it's kind of real, real, real. Uh-huh. Looks like he might have been right up on the bank, huh? He was, he was. As soon as it dropped down, he hit it. He might be we got a little a little more depth in this canal. Probably a little steeper bank. Yeah. A there. Yeah, he's got a little bit of size to him. Yeah. Yeah. Nice fish, beautiful fish. Look at the, he's got some eggs, or she's got some eggs. Good fish, Jeff. Oh, there's one, Jeff. All right, Ned Rig. Look at the colors on this fish, how beautiful. He wanted that Ned Rig. So I don't have a ton of experience with Ned Rig fishing. My son Joel loves these little tiny things. He's had great success with them. But Jeff and I were talking about it on the way out here and it's definitely a different, uh, it's, a di it's a different technique and it's also a different hook set. Jeff was saying, you don't really set the hook. You kind of just reel down on the fish till you feel it and then maybe hit him a little bit, but not the traditional wind up and cross his eyes. Much more of a, you got Jeff? Got him? Nice. It's much more of a finesse technique. Oh, 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 there he is. <laughs> right at this little run out. All right. <laughs> three bass, four bass, five bass. All right. Look, we got this run out. We're at the end of this fall, as you can tell, but it's still leaking a little water. And now we're floating right into it, but that's where Jeff and I both caught our fish. Get him, Jeff. Nice. Are you feeling them hit it, or are they just there? Light tap. A little tap, okay. Now I just wait, and I see my line moving off and Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a good thing with these small baits. They generally don't spit them, huh? <laughs> you got him. 
All right. Could you tell you had him or not? Well, I, I didn't feel him hit, but I, I was making sure it wasn't grass. I, I was pretty sure it was a fish when he started running. <laughs> Such beautiful colors, man. The fish I've been catching lately haven't been pretty. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you dropped it, didn't you? No, you're still on there. <laughs> yep. Yep. I could never catch up with him. He ran so far out. Get him, Jeff. Jeff, I think we got us a double. All right. Two at a time. Yeah. Just a live well, man. Yeah. Ooh, that one's got a headache. See, this is a little bit of grass here. Sometimes you pop out of that grass. There. Don't hit it. Like that one. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. You got it too good. Got him, Jeff? So much fun. I mean, you know, they're not giants, but man, it's fun. Just love it. Yeah, I'm sure they're here. Yeah. Look at that, Jeff. <laughs> Obviously, dead sticking's the way to go because I was uh, watching Jeff reel in that fish, and this one literally choked it. Poor guy. Oh, yeah. There he is. That's good fish. Come on, buddy. All right. Let me get the hang of it. See, and he's got no, no spots. Double. Come on in the boat, baby. Come on in the boat. I don't remember what we're on, do you? Wow, you took it pretty deep as well. There we go. All right. So I forgot to mention, the Ned rig that I'm fishing is a Z-Man variety, the official Ned rig. This is a, I think this is a 532nd ounce head with the, the TRD, which kind of looks like a, a turd. There's really not a ton of action to this thing, but you don't really want a ton of action this time of year. Uh, just got him another one. And you know, you kind of look at this thing and, and think there's no way this is gonna produce fish. But it does, oh goodness, it does all over the country. That one smacked it. That's a good fish, Jeff. All right. Toad down here. Might, might be pushing two. Look at that, that big fish ate that little bitty bait. Beautiful, beautiful fish. So chunky. Chunky monkey. Oh, yeah. What you got, Jeff? A redfish? No, I got Mr. Bass. We might be in a zone of big ones, huh? Yeah. Another good fish. Yeah. So look at this fish. See that big leech on the bottom? That tells you they're just hugging to that bottom for a long period of time in this cold water. That's why you really kind of just want to dead stick these baits. You don't want to move them quickly. Six feet here. You'd think every bass would be in this little bend. 
This one was. This is just silly. Shame these Ned rigs don't work, Jeff. Yeah, don't tell nobody about them. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell anybody. So I'll take you through the rest of my setup here. This is a Akuma ITX. I think it's a, a 2500. Also got a Helios SX rod. It's a 7.2 medium. Got 30 pound soft steel braid. And I've got about a, well, let's see, it's about a six foot liter. This is 12 pound soft steel stretch fluoro. That's about as finesse as I'm gonna get. Jeff, what's your, uh, what's your setup? A Revo with an older E-Motion rod, and it's just a medium. You know, the main thing on these is to look at the line rating, eight to, this one's eight to 17, but sometimes you want one that's like maybe six to 12, light, light, medium, medium light rod, because you don't need a lot of power on these rods when you're fishing these light little hooks. Right, so. are you spooled up at fluoro? Yep, fluoro, yep. Uh, how heavy, you remember? I think this is 12. 12 pounds, yeah. okay, perfect. But you could go even lighter than that. And there's really not a lot to hang on out here. You know, I'm using the Z-Man stuff, but I think you're using a, a Senko tail or, or Berkeley, uh, or what is that? one of the Berkeley Power Baits, one of them uh, Max Sense, and I just cut them in half, and I'll use the pointy tip one time and the square tip the next time. This isn't a Berkeley head, they just come out with a new head. You see how small the hooks are? That's why you don't want to use a big hard hook set because you just it's just gonna snatch out of the fish's fish's mouth. Right. So just a nice pull set, reel, reel, reel is what I tell everybody to get the hook set down. Yeah, it's definitely working today. No doubt that technique. And it, it did take me a couple of fish to kind of figure it out, but, but once you get the hang of it, it's very effective, no doubt about it. And look, you know, this Z-Man tail is a Laztec. Look how screwed up this thing is. <laughs> I really can't even get it straight. I've tried and tried, but I can't get it. I should probably re-rig, but it doesn't matter. These fish are crushing it. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it.